the mates from the boat. Lovely scene here. 62 minutes. Good. Beautiful buildings along the this canal. And this canal has a lock on it. You drop your boat down about pretty, pretty steep, maybe 10 meters, 20, 30 feet here. The house of the tanners, maison, la chocolate, chocolate, la chocolate, chocolate, big, big meat. This is the, uh, the overhead edges, forms a little roof, the rain is on this side. Okay, there's the fence, okay, one of the red bar. On the other side is the center of the world, the high of the world, the high of the world, the high of the world, the music of the music of the music of the jazz, and all the trees are picking up the sound of it. Nice again. Okay, there's a name on the road here, but right on the road, all the way down the stadium, it's right there in the middle. We're on the third floor, we're up to the top. We're looking out of one of those under the roof, probably. That's talking about the oral lobe presentation is at 11.30. Presentation of the hour, and the clock presentation is a cash desk. At 11.30, you can pay some money. And here is the layout of the cathedral. Main entrance, exits, tour, tour, and tour. You can climb to the top of this thing too if you want. Beautiful. Huh? Got a little amplifier here. It's got some electronic stuff. Great sound. Right in front of the Strasbourg Cathedral. From the side of it. People are walking up steps to get to a walkway up to the tower. Probably about 40 stories up there. It must be 400 steps or more. No idea where folk has gone to. Probably one of these stores shopping for stuff. Okay, what are you having here, Folka? What is this pie? Sachkuchen. Another word for that is? Sachkuchen. Not Flammkuchen? You like it? And that's the same for plums, then, both words? Same food. Different way of preparing it. Blue ones. Did you see the name of this uh, restaurant? No. Maison de Kugelhof. 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 Well, we've just taken a long bus tour through some beautiful countryside to a village that is raising storks. They've become very <coughs> judges of the stork dangers. And this village has dedicated itself to having storks and stork uh, supporting structures on roofs all over town. We must have seen a dozen of them already come in. And that guy looks as healthy as you can imagine a stork to be. You can see it sitting on some kind of platform where he has its nest. There are turtles in a pond here. This one's on the edge of the water line. There's three or four of them on that rock. There's a grouping in the leaves of about ten. And on the edge of it is, is um, vineyard. So there's grapes and that's vineyards up in the hills going up to the, we're in the Vosges mountain area. Now here's a field full of storks. There's probably 20 of them in here that I can see coming in from the sides. Let me zoom in on this guy. They're big. He's probably 50 pounds. And there's one up on the nest sitting on eggs. Checking out her plumage. And they, she was saying on the mic that, ooh, come more up in the nest, that they, um, they gathered about 30 or 40 eggs, incubated them for a normal amount of time. Yeah, there's baby. She's feeding them right there, the little babe. And uh, kept them in an enclosure. Didn't let them fly away till they were three years old. And since they had never flown to Africa, they stayed here all year round. So they have hundreds of storks that live in this area now. It's lovely. There's a baby. Okay. 
There's some sleeping babies. Three or four of them here. There's a goose on the ground. This shows you they've got five nests in this little group in here. And there is Here comes a mama on the side. Having a performance here. Crossing the street. There's the structure, that's an empty one. Final round now. See the mouths reaching up to the mother's beak. She's feeding them. The little beaks in there. The ones she was just telling me. Yeah. The ones in the nests up yeah. here. All of them. Yeah. They're migrating. Okay. They let them go and migrate. Yeah. The only ones they keep are the ones they have. They're raising the little ones. Uh -huh. And then they keep them here for three years. You heard that, right? Yeah. Until they mature. And, and then, then they stay here. Okay. She said we have so many, we have enough. She yeah. said they have 850. Yeah, more than that even. Pairs. And she said that the... You see up there, see, them? Yeah, see that I, one I feeding? Yep. Two or three of them. Yep. And then this one just sat down, but she had three of them coming out, looking up. This one has two or three just being very hungry. And then they yeah, there's, there's the three heads. Calling for the mate. Yeah. The um, stork is faithful to the nest. They'll stay with their partner until the partner dies, usually seven, eight years. And then, they and then they'll go back to the nest or bring a new partner back to the nest that they've been living in and raising their children. Faithful to the nest of the home. Yeah. Your home, yeah. Just made an hour stop at this village of Rickvere. Ten minutes from the storks. It's an old, original 